we're so used to assume that people who know the structure of the eye can carefully and professionally cut into the eye, know the total story of vision. But the total story of vision doesn't start in the eye. It starts in the brain. Yes, you don't want opacity, like cataract that stops your vision. You don't want a corneal problem. You don't want a retinal problem. But the medical profession knowledge really starts in the cornea and ends in the retina. And that is not even 1% of your vision. Vision is in your brain. Vision is in your body because your body moves according to your vision. Now, it's a little bit less true about my development because I was raised as a blind kid. And so to a great extent, I have a different dialogue between my eyes and my body. Sometimes my body tells my eyes what to do. Sometimes my eyes tell my body what to do. But 99.9999% of the people, the eyes basically lead the body. So it affects every part of you and the body affects your vision. And that is what I teach you. I teach you to affect your vision. Somehow, when you go to an ophthalmologist and from 10 feet, you can read this line, and from 20 feet, you can read this line, he tells you your acuity, that part that looks uh, at letters from distance is good. But truth of the matter is, there's much more to acuity than meets the eyes. Let's say that you can only see this line from 20 feet, or even this line from 20 feet, the 2100. But you respond well to what you see. You are alert. And before you know, the vision gets slightly better. And it's a better 2100, even becomes 2080. And if you see this, it's a better 2080, it becomes 2060. Why? Because you look and you respond with your body. Lack of response of the body eventually degenerates the eyes. I used to have once a client from Brazil that his uh, optic nerve was damaged from a surgery. I had many clients with damaged op optic nerve. I have them right now. But in his case, it was because of an elective surgery that shouldn't have actually been done. And he had 85% peripheral loss. And with special work on a trampoline, when he became alert to arrows that I've shown him and signs that I've shown him, and with his body responding to what he sees, his visual field became 90% of normal, from 15 to 90. And that is a fantastic thing. So acuity is one thing. Body and eye coordination becomes very important. And without working on the whole body, we can't improve the eyes enough. Without working on the senses, hearing, seeing, feeling, we can't improve the body enough either. And that's the key for inner body awareness. I'm standing in front of the sign of our school and I see my friend Lars and his handsome son near him. And tell me, can you read for me this line? Z, mm -hmm. Z, 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 K, H, N, O, R, O, Z. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so he can see it. Many people can only see this. That's why I see them, so they can see a bit better. What our school stands for? Your potential to get better. Not only knowing it, realizing it. We're looking at the ocean. Today is a beautiful day. Not every day is so beautiful. Even this morning was kind of foggy. But when you look at the waves, it captures the eyes much more than anything on the beach itself. 
The waves capture the eyes. The distance captures the eyes. One of the things that happens to the human eye is that we don't have the wish to see as well with time. One of the things that we need to have is the curiosity and the wish to see. How can you possibly take your eyes away from the ocean? And when you look at this chart, I've seen that when people look far away at the ocean, if they saw this line from 10 feet, give them a good 15 minutes and this line would appear. It's that drastic. You see better at the distance, you scan the horizons, and sometimes you even obstruct one of the eyes, like putting these glasses here, and you look at the horizons with the one eye that is open, and then you take the glasses off, and the two eyes are looking, and you are looking at the horizons, you're changing all the structure of the eye, and all the sense in the brain, and the vision improves from line to line to line to line. No end to it, especially if you add to it some more programs, like closing the eyes and moving the head from side to side, facing the sun. That when you face the sun with the bridge of the nose, most likely your pupils contract and your face feel warm, and you move it to the opposite side, and the pupils expand, and they contract and they expand and there's a sense of bliss which is so wonderful and even hard to define.